Hello and welcome back to Essential Excel. This video came about from a solution we found ourselves working on earlier in the week and we thought it was worth sharing with you um, to help you if you found yourself in a similar scenario where you're trying to do uh, get to the same result. So that scenario was where we had, as you'll see in our example, in column A we have a date value and also a timestamp captured within the same column. So as you can see in our example we've got um, four pieces of information, we've got the date, um, or four rows should I say, so we've got the 2nd of July 2019 and we've got a timestamp at the end there. Um, the date is the same for all four but as you can see the timestamp is slightly different. And then what we want to do is we want to extract the date only to column B and we then want to extract the time only to column C. So in order to do that, we are going to use uh, a function in, available to us in Excel. And then the second part, we're going to do a simple subtract, subtraction to get the time in column C. So jumping straight into it, we're going to use a function um, called INT, what stands for integer. And as you can see from our um, pop-up, was come here from entering in the formula, we can see that INT rounds the number down to the nearest integer. Uh, so an integer being a whole number. And why that's important is if we just come back out of the formula, what we can look at, if you didn't already know, is if you were to look at, um, change the format of a date and time to a number, you will see that it, the date and time is made up of uh, a whole number and a decimal place. And the whole number, so as in our example here, the 43648, that relates to the date. And the decimal place, um, or, or decimal places of 556, uh, relates to the, the time. And actually, it's not just 56, as you can see in the top here in our formula bias, 558, so on and so forth. And it's that all those decimal places that relate to the actual time, um, minutes, or the hours, minutes, and seconds um, for that date. So in order to actually get just our date value, all we need is to extract those first five characters, or so I say, first five, five numbers, so the 43648, what will just give us um, our date. So in order to be able to do that, and what we'll just do is put ourselves back to our formatting we're in. In order to just get that number, we can just do use the int integer function. So we'll do int open brackets, all we need to do is select uh, the cell reference in which we want to um, pull in and then hit enter. And you can see we now have that value of the 2nd of July 2019 um, isolated away from the time. And as we can see, we've got it there now. So what we'll do is just to go back to that other format we just now looked at of the number. So you can now see what's happened is We've got our uh, initial date and time of uh, the 43648.56. And now because we've just got just the date value in B, we can see that the date on its own is just 43648. Um, so that is obviously how we've been able to use integer to get to just the date value on its own. So in order to get the time value, all we need to do is um, extract out this 0.56 from our date and time value um, to obviously and then once it's formatted to a time, will then give us the time value. So simply to do that, all we need to do is enter into our formula, uh, or not into our formula, into our cell reference, a simple subtraction formula of our larger value, what contains the date and time, what's with a 0.46, 56 even, and all we need to do is subtract away from it our integer calculation number, or what's the result of that, um, what is just our date. And when we do that, um, you can see we're now left with um, the 123.57. So that's actually just the time what's off of that. And if I just now get go back a few steps and just put that formula in again, we can see that if we go, so date and time minus the date on its own is just the time of 123.57. And what we can do just one more time, just apologies to going backwards and forwards, but hopefully it helps to sort of um, identify it. We can now see what, in simplistic terms, how it looks in terms of numbers. That we've got our date and time, with the full the full starting point, the date just being the integer value, so the values to the left of the decimal place, and the time just being um, the values after the decimal place, so the 0.56. And then what we can do is just undo that again, 
to get back to our initial formatting and drag our formula down and you can see that's now worked for all those other values as well. So we've now got our date separated in column B and then we've got the time separated out into column C here. Okay, we hope you found that very useful. Um, likewise, if you do find yourself, you've got any questions or there's anything you're trying to do in Excel um, and you, you need a solution to help you achieve it, do either drop us a comment below um, with any questions you might have about this video as well or reach out to us on our Facebook page and, and let us know um, any problems or questions you have and we can probably make a video to help walk you through um, how to do it and as always if you haven't already please do subscribe to the channel and give this video a great big thumbs up thank you very much and we'll see you in the next video